this buoy too. Hey, we got him hooked, good! Untie us. Here we go. Nice job. What, did you see the shark? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a smaller male. Time on the water is how you learn, how you become part of the system. And that's one of the great powers that the ship affords us, is to live there in the system day and night. That's what has allowed us to do things that haven't been done before. Jody, I'm just in neutral. I'm letting you do the work. You tell me when you need power. Here, here's a pull. We're not very far from the connection. You still this way here? He's angled straight down here, he's going this way. Paul Walker's out here with us. I know he's a movie actor, but he's also clearly like a waterman. He's got part scientist in his brain. He's definitely got part fisherman in his soul. I think he's kind of into this. <laughs> Don't pull him in the boat. <laughs> no, 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 that buoy's 15 feet away from the shark yeah. when you get it. Yeah. <laughs> if that's Can not you see one. buoys yet? Yep. Not. Oh, yeah, I can't. Right yeah, there it is. The shark's still holding down our little bait buoy and one of the larger orange buoys and every one of those orange floats is 90 pounds of buoyancy so can you imagine swimming against 90 pounds of buoyancy for any length of time nice dude <laughs> putting some heat on it look at it swinging the skiff <laughs> hardcore turning us right now he's going this way now okay i'm in neutral he's coming under, he's that going underneath he's going straight underneath us right now we are just kind of learning on the fly here. Nobody's ever really done this. And the position of buoys, the size of buoys within the sequence of buoys, all is very, very, very important. Whenever you guys are ready, the mothership's ready. Yeah, this one's a tad bit angrier, although smaller. So uh, we're, we're not quite there. You know, it's their baby now. When they bring it to us, we're ready. I'm only going to use our port engine here because that rope is awful close to my starboard engine. I'm not going to cut off a shark. Hey man, if the thing eats the boat and pops the tube or eats the prop, you know, you can buy new boats, you can buy new tubes, you can buy new props, but you can't buy new people. I'd wrap up on it, push it away from us. Go, go, yeah, go into a bigger turn. Okay, I'm neutral. Oh, there's a, uh, okay, shark swimming underneath the motors real slow. Okay, let's go pull this up and get this clear. You know, I'm getting that close, just sliding those buoys down on, on that chain right next to that shark's face. Of course, that's what I live for. It looks clean. In essence, we're trying to use buoys to pin the shark to the surface of the water. Because if its head is stuck right to the surface of the water, it can't get its tail kicking to shoot down. It's just stuck there. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is allow the fish to swim away from us, Jody. Is it coming across our right here? He's kind of swimming down, and he's swimming this way a little bit. This just doesn't feel like fishing at all when you're out there. Like you said, he's got some fight in him left. The stakes are too high. The data set is too valuable. A mistake is too costly. I don't even see a dorsal fin yet, so it's, it's close, but... Jumping. He's right in now. We got the shark now. Oh, that's not that small of a shark. Okay, you guys ready? Wrap it up. When the guys would wrap up on that cable leader near the end of the fight, the sharks were so heavy and so powerful that the small diameter of the cable was beginning to crush the guy's hands. So like at the end of the day, they couldn't hardly move their hands. Almost got my finger yanked off right there. Have the divers just remove the gate on the aft end. Remove the gate on the aft end. I don't know what's going to happen. Now it wants to swing the other way. He's coming to come the other way. He's got him on the other side. So we got to remove our gate at the end, flip it back over, move the hose back to where it was. I think coming into the cradle is one of the critical times. It's one of the more complex times where a lot of things got to go right. The guys are working on the ship, and Dr. Dolmeyer is trying to have the platform low enough. Stop! 
very anxious moment with him playing with with that whole aspect of the situation. Sorry, stand by to stand by. Hey, we're gonna, if you get that thing in the water, we are gonna come in right now. So if you can get everyone ready and get it in, we're coming in. Drop it, drop it, drop it! Drop the cradle! 